Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about common beliefs held by programmers. So let's get into it. So the question in question was, Frederick, what are some beliefs commonly held by programmers that are actually really wrong? Well, if I can only pick one, I'm just gonna I'm gonna be really wild now and not go with the standard. Do you know what a front end developer is? Because that's probably my it's been my answer to this thing every single time I've gotten this question. Because it usually is like uh, you mean the, even this this very morning someone posted a comment and saying asking me, Frederick, this thing doesn't make any sense. Why are you saying that Node.js is relevant for a front end developer? That's not front end, and I just I roll my eyes for the millionth time and then I just remove that comment so I don't have to look at it because I'm so fucking tired of them. So I'm not going to do that. I'm going to pick another one because there's a I have a bit of a list. So the second thing in line is going to be that new is always better or that a tool is useful because it has a lot of bells and whistles. That is very commonly believed. Uh, what I mean by that is basically that there is an enormous amount of problems in software today that are practically always due to one specific thing. And that is that developers get excited about a new tool or a new workflow or a process or something like that that has a lot of novelty but at the same time they actually miss uh, out on the core stuff, the stuff that actually is the reason why you would want that tool in the first place. Let me stop this, stop, uh, stop you, if, uh, stop, my, stop me if I've ever, you've ever heard something like this, if you're a more experienced developer, where you might have heard of a new engineer come in and say, hey, you know what, we should use this framework or that framework because it can do this, that, and that, and that, and that, and that, and that. And you, in the back of your head, you're thinking, but why is, why is, why does, do you care? We don't use this, that, or that. Like, we only use this thing here. So why should we use this more advanced solution with a lot of extra stuff when it doesn't actually do the thing that we needed to do better. It's just adding more stuff on top. This happens all the time, at least in my life. Maybe I'm special, but I don't think I am. I, th I want to believe that there are other people who can relate to this because it happens. I mean, it's not even just for tools. I don't know how many times I've had a conversation with, because uh, usually there's a range of different engineers. You will have people who are really into the tool stuff, like the toolsmiths, like I like to call them. And then you have the process geeks who like want a process for everything. These are really fun, where they will come in literally every other week and say, you know what, we should try this new approach, or we should do our development this way. We should throw away the entire backlog and do things like this instead. And I kind of go, sure, we can do all of these things. But we always, why are you talking, why are you telling me? Why are you coming to me? I don't have the power to throw away the backlog. Go and talk to the manager and tell him that you want to throw away the backlog and do it in a new way. They never get anywhere, but they, that doesn't stop them from from continuously trying to push ideas that never get adopted. And I, I, sometimes they're lucky and they might get a token meeting here and there where they get to try out their thing and usually they're very unhappy because it usually doesn't go the way they want because they want a bigger commitment and I sit there as the old bitter programmer that I am and I kind of go well you're at like, you, you talk about all these subjective benefits that are kind of come from doing all of this but you don't actually have any proof of anything you are actually not understanding that it's not about having a perfect work process from all perspectives what the company is interested in is to have a perfect work process based on a few perspectives. And those perspectives are usually delivery and a bit of happiness. In other words, we want to maximize and optimize time to market, being able to like work really quickly and get things done, and at the same time not completely compromise innovation and stuff like that these things are also important but they can you can't switch that ratio which is the thing that you're basically suggesting you're always suggesting that and that 
statement usually falls on very deaf ears because just as a fanatic test driven development a TDD nerd will say that oh but no we're writing all these tests to be able to work faster Frederick don't you understand that and I kind of go yeah of course we are continue with your day I'm gonna go over here and uh, continue working and then I just I kind of just leave it because it's it's pointless because you like uh, you can only let them continue down that path until they realize that they're never getting comp there and they never do they never get promoted they never get anywhere with their like co-workers or their ideas they never get and basically anybody to listen if they do get some like-minded people they're usually a minority who never actually do anything like nothing gets done and usually the people who actually get promoted and become their boss are the people who understand that uh, they understand what matters they understand that novelty and bells and whistles like all of this extra like nice to have stuff that's great if it doesn't come at the expense of the things that are actually gonna make the difference because that it's uh, it's like buying a car if you're buying a car you're buying it for the purpose of being able to get from point A to point B who the fuck cares about I mean if the car doesn't have any wheels and the only thing you look at are the side mirrors then you're prioritizing the wrong stuff it's the exact same thing the thing needs to have really good wheels and an engine and all that stuff that's what's important about the thing and if you ever get to a point where you start looking at all the other stuff as more important than the core stuff you you're you're putting yourself in a really bad position and I don't know how many times and it happens every single quarter at the very least even in my own company where you have some developer who makes a bet on something well I'm not it's not even a bet they just get swept away into all this extra novelty or some idea that they don't even like they don't test it out before they buy into it and then all of a sudden now we need to support it I, I I'll give you an example just the other day we ha and this is like it's a costly mistake for the company where we had a we were buying in like um, we had a logging system that had been working for quite some time we like the normal like the absolute most normal stack that you can imagine which uh, we we were hosting ourselves and then a new engineering manager comes in and states that you know what we should go over to this other thing this tool that I've been using at my last job because it's really really nice uh, it's a bit expensive but yeah it's really nice and I go okay but why because all like the teams are already like they already have what they need like nobody there's no one who really is looking for something more advanced than this and he goes well but there's all these other benefits and you can do graphs and you can visualize things and you can do this and that and I kinda go yeah that's great like uh, that's probably really useful but nobody here like the, the engineers don't care about those features at all like they they care at nothing at all like the, all they want is to be able to see what went wrong with the system that's it and he goes yeah yeah but Fred you don't understand like this is really really useful and I'm gonna push for us to bet on this and I go well it's really expensive as well and you should probably not do that because it's going to end up probably with nobody really using the thing and the company paying a lot of money for this thing uh, it's just going to be a money a money pit didn't listen and uh, just the other day the same like the same person like from the from the same in, uh, engineering team goes and cre creates a poll and this now we've been paying for this thing for now I don't know how many months where he asks why is nobody using this logging tool and what can we do to get you to use it and I just sit there and I go well I, 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 I just don't have the words so now we went from like you, you at the very least admit that when you make that made a mistake and let's just not do this in the future like let's let's try things out and like make sure that people are gonna be invested in the thing before we pay for it no now we're not doing that and even we're actually committing to the mistake so much that we're trying to convince people to use the thing even though they don't seem to have a need for it because everything is working normally uh, anywho so what I want you to take away from this is that a commonly held belief by a lot of programmers is that new is always better or more features is always better no it's not what's better is to find a solution or a tool that 
does the thing that you actually need it to do as well as humanly possible. And you should never, ever get into a position where you compromise those core needs for novelty, for things that are nice to have, because that's what salespeople are trying to get you to buy into. They give you all of these nice bells and whistles that you get really excited about, but at the end of the day, that's like not, it's it's tw the 20% of the 80-20 rule. 80% of the stuff that you're doing has nothing to do with those 20%, even though that's what you're excited about. And you can never let yourself get into that position, because the the work that you do will suffer for it and a lot of people are going to get really annoyed with you when the decisions that you make don't actually turn out all that well. Have a great day.